everyone and welcome back to Successful Living. Today I have a short and sweet video for you. This video is all about time blocking. I have been using time blocking for the last year and I have maximized the efficiency of my time with just this technique. You can use it on your busy days, you can use it every day like I do and with this technique not only you will block time to get more done, you will also be able to track your time to see where you actually allocate your precious, precious, precious time. So without further ado, let me show you how I block my time on Google Calendar by taking you to my computer screen. All right, guys, so this is my Google Calendar. This is how I block my time. Let me go to an empty day instead of showing you what is already filled in here. Obviously, you can see today that I am filming for YouTube and I already blocked the whole day here. But let me just go to a more empty day. Oh my God, it's impossible to find an empty day, isn't it? So let me go to this Tuesday, June 2019. Obviously, you see a lot of things happening here because these are the things that happen every single week for me. So I already created a recurring event for these things, such as my coaching um, from the, the coaching that I get from um, my business coach. And then I have like my social calendar here. As you can see, I have several calendars and I have a meeting for one of our businesses. I film, I teach dance. Obviously, you can watch the video where I talk about all of my seven businesses. If these don't make any sense and if you're curious, what the hell is she doing? You can totally check that video. But this is why I have several things in my Google Calendar already. Let me talk about these calendars very quickly before I jump into the time blocking. I have here five calendars within Google Calendar and I have two external calendars here. So the first one is Gams Alptekin. This is actually where I write down the things that I need to be out of the office maybe, so more time sensitive or um, the things that I have to attend to kind of things. As you can see, some of the calls are here. Um, some of the research that I have to attend to with somebody else are in this color. And I have a color coding system for my Google Calendar. So within this calendar, I have the color sage for the meetings that are happening basically via voice, so basically via calls. The things that happen that I have to go out of the office are in a darker green and so on and so forth. The business one is my creation thing. So these are only about myself. I create by myself so I can see in this color, which is my brand color as well, what I need to do business-wise. This color coding system also helps you track your time so you can see what you did that week. So for instance, here you can see I have a lot of light pinks, which means I did a lot of personal things. I have a little bit of the greetings over the phone, a lot of... Um, yellows around here which means i worked a lot so this kind of tracking if you're interested you could also do with this time blocking technique the personal one is obviously my personal things the production is more for content creation so for example this one I'm not social because social life goes into the personal for me the other two the gums out in youtube so this is my turkish youtube channel and the successful living one which is this youtube channel are external links from trello I can show you how I use Trello to work with my Google Calendar if you're interested in another video. Just write in the comments below that you want to see it and I'll totally do it for you. But again, without further ado, let me show how I do my time blocking. I talked about them on this channel many times before, but basically I will just tell this here. I plan my day the night before. So I write down a to-do kind of listing. Uh, more of like what I need to get done and what I need to take care of and my priorities and everything for the day the night before but without any time constraints or anything it's just a running to-do list what I do now every morning before I start working so this is a part of my morning routine and I strongly recommend you to do it before you start your work day I open that page on my calendar I'm um, sorry diary and I'm just looking at it right now that that was the sound of the charm and then I start blocking the day. And this is how it works. So let's say I woke up at six and I take about two hours for my morning routine. I just create this and I write down morning routine. This also tells me if I wake up early that week or something went wrong and I'm waking up later than usual. This also alerts me in a way to um, make sure that I am waking up in a time that I want to. Then I change it to personal because morning routine is a personal thing for me. Um, and then I just save it. 
Then you see here, there is the daily correspondence. That's the only time I check my emails and my social media accounts in the day so I don't get distracted. I talked about not being responsive all the time on this channel before and this is exactly why I have a half an hour um, slot every day to answer to whatever I get in my inboxes. And then let's say on a typical Tuesday, I would have coaching calls. They usually block my time with a with another app called Calendly. Again, if you're interested, let me know. I will make another tutorial about that. But let's say I am creating it myself. So what I would do is I would create something like, um, I don't know, ABC coaching call number three. So I create this in this calendar and either you save it which is the way I do it, or you can go to more options and then you can add if it's repeating, if there is a location, you can make it a Zoom meeting. This is another integration I love um, with the Google Calendar. Then you can change the calendar here. I mean, I'm not going to show you everything here. Um, obviously, Google Calendar is very popular and I'm sure you know how to use this. But, oh, I'm sorry, let me save this one. What I like to do is after I save it the way I showed you before, I just right click and I just change the color to my coaching call color. This is how I do it. I generally give a blank, like a, a space between coaching calls. So I would just block another, let's say, one and a half hour coaching call here. I would save it here and I would just go change the color and I have some social media prompts kind of thing here that I need to share yesterday's successful living video to Twitter that is always here but that it takes like two minutes so that's not really blocking the time that's more of a reminder for me and then I would just block let's say maybe even here I would block some time for lunch don't forget to block time for food for travel time for getting ready time especially if you're doing makeup like me don't forget to do those things don't forget to block time because otherwise you will think that you won't have to do them and you will basically overbook yourself which just makes you feel like you can't make things you know run in time so i made a lunch break here and let's say i'm just gonna you know work on helium oops helium oh, wait i can't type today Helium health, um, that would be business, so I will just save it. Basically, this is how I'm gonna um, block work on Getty Stilo, my time. You can write a lot of details here. If there are other like websites that you want to write as a note, you can just type it here. Again, I can't type today. You can add guests if you have a meeting with somebody else. So basically this is how I block my time and I block it until around six-ish for my workday. So I start at eight and I finish at six and I have my evening routine. So what I would do is I would give it like three hours maybe evening routine. So I also make sure that I have time for myself, which is crucial for busy entrepreneurs. And that gives me, you know, the timeline of my day. And this is how I um, block my day. This is how I, oh, see, I made a mistake there. So let's fix that. Let's go there, personal, done. This is how I block my time. This is how I use time blocking. And another thing before I go away is to show you these two blank areas here and here. I usually leave around an hour of a blank time, a white space, just in case something takes longer or just in case something urgent comes up or just in case, I don't know, I want to take another break, I want to have a nap, I want to, you know, eat a snack or whatever. So I strongly recommend doing that. But if you do this every single morning, just make the day and Google Calendar or whatever calendar you use. You can see from your phone, even if you're out and about, you will see what you need to be doing. And the best thing is, this bar, this red bar here shows you where you are in the day. So you know if you have to work a little bit faster or you're good in time or whatever. So I love following everything on this screen rather than on my planner or on the to-do list or anything like that. This exactly tells me what I need to be doing right now so I don't have to think about it during the day and I don't have to lose time thinking about it during the day. 
So this is how I use time blocking and I think it's a very useful tool, especially for busy entrepreneurs, busy people, or in general for anybody who wants to maximize the usage of time. I hope you enjoyed it and for more videos like this, success, motivation, planning and entrepreneurship related videos, please consider subscribing to this channel and that really supports the channel. So thank you so much already and I will see you in the next one. Bye.